Hello, this is Dylan here from Adon Days Training. I got a message yesterday that um, my friend Tim was experiencing some quad pain uh, when he's squatting and just in general said that his quad was really tight, said that he was worried it was a tendon that is above his knee. That'd be the patellar tendon. Um, I actually used to have a lot of tendonitis problems and sore knees, so I told him that you know a lot of it would be making sure that you're using proper warm-up and also um, a good self-massage techniques. Um, so one of the things I'm going to show him, um, I would suggest not using a foam roller because it won't hit it hard enough. If you want to use a softball or a lacrosse ball, I have a cross ball here. It's like three bucks to buy off of Amazon. I definitely suggest you get one of these to help you stay um, healthier and also feel better. So I'm going to show you the base of the technique here. So you're going to start with it right here underneath, like right underneath your kneecap. And instead of just rolling, you can roll on it, but then hold on it push down hard into it and then you're going to start going like this moving your leg around what this does is it increases the blood flow not only helps promote the quad feeling better but also helps give you more mobility in that area as well so you're not only you know just getting the normal massage but you're also just kind of stretching it out at the same time by doing this with it now he said it was right under the knee that hurt so we'd spend extra time around there making sure right uh, over the knee you're going to spend extra time there, but you're also going to want to make sure you get the rest of the quad as well. So you're going to go up here and get this part of the quad. And this is going to hurt, especially if you use a softball. It's not going to be comfortable. It's going to hurt, but you're going to feel a lot better when you're done. And then also what I would do, because a lot of the reason I had to sore knees was tight hip flexors. So you're going to put it right in your hip pocket right here. This is probably really going to hurt here. And you're going to still do the same thing with your leg. You can kind of move it around like this a little bit. Go back and forth on it. Maybe go like this to the side. You're going to want to hit that entire area probably for, until it doesn't hurt really. You're just going to keep going. You're going to hold it in the same spot for a while. Maybe hold it for like 10 seconds really pushing down. And then start moving it fast. And then you're going to maybe you find that your knee still hurts a little bit here. Go back down. Hold it in the same spot and then, you know, even go like this on it, this on it. The more movement you have, the more blood flow you get in your muscles, which will probably produce less pain for you and make you feel better. So that's one thing that I would do. Also, I would look up banded TKEs. It's a warm-up exercise involving a band and a power rack, and uh, that also will help limit your knee pain. So hopefully that helps out. Um, the main thing is get a softball or a lacrosse ball and make sure that you're doing the stretching motion along with the rolling on the ball. So hopefully that helps. Check out more of my videos. Thanks again.